Hello everyone, it's Dale Campbell here coming at you. And before we get started with today's video, I want to say a huge shout out to Oliver from AV Installs for setting us up with this new microphone and other audio equipment as well. I heard you guys loud and clear that you guys liked the gingerbread house build video and the high audio quality in that. And that's because of this new lavalier microphone, which I love. It is so much better than the native iPhone microphone because phone microphones are notorious for being bad. For all of your audio YouTube streaming needs, no matter what your level, they have a solution for you. You can contact Oliver at info at av-installs.com.au the details are down below as well. He has access to all of the leading brands in audio, visual, lighting, and streaming as well to suit any occasion. That again is Oliver at av-installs. Again, huge thank you to Oliver for setting us up with brand new audio equipment. And now to today's video and probably another intro because I am bad at my job. Whoosh, go for it. I can't believe I just admitted that on camera. Oh my god, I'm gonna get cancelled. Hello everyone, it's Dale Campbell here coming at you with another video. And today, that's right, I am doing my very first Q&A here on the YouTube channel. So I put the call out there on my Instagram and on Facebook for you guys to submit your questions and <laughs> Boy, howdy, did you guys deliver. So, grab a snack, come on back, strap in, because it's going to get spicy. Also, if you guys want to be involved with future videos like this one, or if you've got any suggestions, or just want to follow my many Instagram adventures, you can do so by following my Instagram at the Dale Campbell. That's T-H-E-D-A-L-E-C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. -L. Also, if you want to give this video a big thumbs up so I can get to do more of these Q&As in the future, that would be greatly appreciated as well. So, if you want to watch me answer some juicy and spicy, <laughs> I don't know why I have to do that for <laughs> Right here, right now, then please keep on watching. But I've shuffled the order of the questions so you don't know when your question's coming up. <laughs> First up, Lachlan Car 15 asked, where do you see your channel in the next five years? That's a very good question. I see this channel at one point uh, getting above just me. I, I want to, of course, do more, like, of course, I want to be on the camera, but in future, I want to direct a series, I want to produce a series, I want to have series of those series, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, but I want to have it be slightly more than just Dale Campbell. I want it to have this bigger picture. Um, also, while the numbers do matter, I do want to, of course, the typical increase my subscribers and get more views on my videos and stuff like that, which is happening at the moment, which is very exciting. But I want to do more works, sort of, of course, in front of the camera, but also sort of behind the scenes as well. Next up, Billy Ray Husband asks, where are you going? Oh, that's right. In my second call out for questions, I am walking and I get attacked by a palm tree. 24 hours to get your questions in and I'm getting attacked by the palm tree. Okay, there you go. Which is very helpful. But I was walking to the bus stop to go to work. My job, I will call it a job. Uh, at the handyman company. I am a sort of laborer slash office worker slash skills acquirer. <laughs> Ron asks, will you make a comeback to Woolies? I would love to come back to Woolies. I did try to come back to my old locations. Unfortunately, that didn't work. <laughs> so I, went and explored other options, of course, but hey, if Woolies called tomorrow, I would go back tomorrow. 
<laughs> hint, hint. But I should go up and pay y'all a visit as well. I do need to do that, but I do need to go up a night time. <laughs> just so I can see all of the old night crew again, it'd be great to see all of you guys that I used to work with and that I spent, you know, several years with at um, the one location and I feel like I was at the second location for about five and a half, six months, I think. So I, I definitely made some really good friends and some really close connections at those stores and definitely need to catch up with each and every single one of you real soon. Ah, speaking of words, Nat asks, where's Chris? <laughs> this was an inside joke where we always used to try and find this one person named Chris at Woolies at work and he just was missing every time that we wanted to see him. Uh, my response always was, he was on a day off, he's, he's on a day off. <laughs> still haven't found him though. Still haven't, still haven't found him. Still looking though, still looking for Chris. Shout out to Chris if you're out there watching. Molly asked, how much do you miss me slash MSC? Oh Molly, oh I miss you so much. I miss you and the bailer. Sorry, 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 correction, the bailor. <laughs> but no, I, I miss, MSC is Main Street East where I used to work at the Magic Kingdom in merchandise. I need to do a video on that at some point, don't I? I've still, I've got plenty of stories to tell. This might be a good kickoff to some of those stories, huh? But I do miss working with you and I do miss you and I wish I could come see you because you just, every time I saw you Molly, you just brighten up my day and it was, it was such lovely like getting to work with you and train you and stuff like that as well. Oh, MSC. How sweet summer child at Main Street East. I do miss working there quite a fair bit. Um, it is actually quite sad at how much I miss it. I oftentimes sort of dream of the phone ringing and going, actually, <laughs> surprise, you're not going back to the Disney Magic, you're coming back to Main Street East Shoreside in the role that you were in before that you went to Cruise Line. I, I so, so wish that that was a thing. Like I would love that. To see all of my favorite people again and just relive some of those magical times. It was definitely an experience and it's definitely something that I want to talk about more on the YouTube channel here. And I just miss everyone so much. You, there's, you all know who you are. There's way too many for you to name for right here, but I will see you all soon. I do promise you that. Oh, here's a fun one. Rebecca asked, best sexy of your life? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> How much time do we have? <laughs> Let me just roll up my sleeves and best sex of my life. Um, oh, and I do, did ask Rebecca for clarification. She did mean, she did mean the, the, the sex. Best. <laughs> <laughs> Time to touch the obvious. Best sex of my life. I've got to say, actually no, there's there's two. There's two actually. They've they've kind of tied because they're in the same sort of category. How to phrase this without naming names? <laughs> uh, outside of a popular shopping mall on a Thursday night after the first date. <laughs> can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe I just admitted that on camera. Oh, oh my God, I'm gonna get canceled. <laughs> my career ends here. Bye everyone, good night. And the revelations just keep coming. <laughs> no pun intended because Ah, uh, the other time is a time that I can't legally disclose a lot of information about because I clearly I'm comfortable on camera at this point, but I'm not that comfortable. Uh, was a time that I did it in the, uh, let's just say, at a local university campus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
<laughs> I'm choking. I'm dying. I can't believe. Oh, I can't believe I've admitted this on camera. Anyway. Oh my gosh. I'm crying. I'm literally crying. <laughs> I. Let's just say a local university campus in hypothetically a theatre storeroom? Sure. That's nondescript. Uh, but any public is is the wildest, wildest thing for me. I just want to say for the record, <laughs> my chair matches my face. <laughs> Alrighty, well now that I'm cancelled, let's move on with the other questions. <laughs> what could top that? Hmm, I don't know. My friend Maria on Instagram asked, sad or Pepsi? <laughs> and then proceeded to ask, Snug or dry? <laughs> now this requires some explanation. Because <laughs> of course it does. And it wasn't just us two that had this in-joke. I think quite a lot of us from the merchandise team on board the Disney Fantasy had an in-joke. It started, I think, sad that Pepsi was first? Was it Snug and Dry was first? I think actually Snug and Dry was first. Where we were just making jo random jokes about, uh, I think it was like toddler swimmers. I can't quite remember where Snug and Dry came from, but I did have quite a few in jokes with a lot of people that I worked with on board a Disney Cruise Line, which I miss. I, I miss that so much. I miss having the interactions with people on board Particularly the merch team. The merch teams, both merch teams actually were quite amazing, both on the fantasy and on the magic. But we did have these two main uh, in jokes where it was the snug and dry, and then we would imitate us pulling up these like diaper things, and we were snug and dry. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll demonstrate. Ready, ready, ready? Um, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Demonstrate it. Yeah, I'm standing on the chair. Don't sue me. And yes, I'm wearing these shorts, but also don't sue me. All right, we would do this snug and dry. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> but the sad, but Pepsi thing came from a conversation we, me and Maria and my friend Glory had in Cruise Shop. There was a few other people there as well, where we were talking about Dua Lipa. <laughs> you know, Pop icon sensation Dua Lipa. We were talking about her and her new album Future Nostalgia at the time. Man, 2020 was a long year. <laughs> we were talking about her and I was like, oh, she's quite sad, but sexy. And then that turned into, I think it was Maria or Glory, one of the two, uh, turned it up and said, did you just say sad but Pepsi? <laughs> and I'm like, no. But I will now. So we were literally running around. Everything, everything is sad. But Pepsi. Not sponsored, please sponsor. Just saying. And then hopefully when we go back into operation with Cruise Line, that the sad but Pepsi and the snug and dry and many more. Let me to check. <laughs> Let me to check was another good one. <laughs> Let me to check. May, may we all be sad. Pepsi. It's not gonna dry. <laughs> Words to live by. Amy Acacia asked, not a question, but I miss you. Oh, Amy, I miss you too. We need to catch up. Now that I'm here back in Cairns, I definitely need to catch up with a lot of people. Now that it's 2021, need to catch up with you again. I miss our I miss our uni days. I I miss that so much and we need we need to catch up for sure. Do it. <laughs> Snuck and dry. Billy Ray asked another question from Billy Ray. <laughs> Simply, why? My mentality oh, <laughs> throws iPad across the room. Yeah, it's bougie. <laughs> Throw my iPad across the room. I have a simple answer for simply why nowadays. I say because. Because I can. <laughs> Since July. I can simply say, because I can. Why am I doing this Q&A? Because I can. And y'all wanted to cancel me, apparently. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love you all. Why do I release certain videos at certain times? 
because why did last week did I release a video not of me but of Siri singing WAP? Because I can. That is why. Now some from the top, house, make it drop. drop. That's some wet ass pussy. pussy. Now get a bucket and a mop. That's some wet ass pussy. I'm talking wop. 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 That's some wet ass pussy. Alrighty, we go from a vague question to a very, very long question. <clears throat> Bailey asked, would you rather every shirt you wear to be kind of itchy or only use one ply toilet paper. Now, to, as someone who's had to use way worse than one ply toilet paper in certain situations, quick sort of side jagging, I, between high school and going to university, I went over to Vanuatu to volunteer teach for six months. And as you can imagine, in a third world country in the middle of nowhere, there were no such luxuries as toilet paper most of the time. Whereas shirts that are kind of itchy, I have to deal with that all day, right? Is that a normal, is that a normal thing? I would rather have only use one ply toilet paper when I have to <laughs> TM. I, but I'm not constantly going to the bathroom, so I wouldn't have to constantly use one ply toilet paper. But then that results in my bling being <laughs> itchy all the time, whereas a shirt makes me itchy all the time. But also there's much more surface area when it comes to a shirt. I don't know why I went up here. <laughs> I'm not wearing shirts on my face. But yeah, there's a lot more surface area when it comes to a shirt that can be itchy rather than that. But also the shirt's itchy all the time. I feel like it's, I feel like it's normal to use one ply toilet paper. I've used way worse, like leaves from a tree that I don't know what they were beforehand and the leaves are on the ground. Elizabeth asked, who is the wife? I think you and I both know the answer to that question. Eden underscore Segev 95, that sounds like a random username, never heard of that before. Asked, did you know? <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna see what the response is. Hang on, you, you'll be able to hear it on my microphone. Hey, Eden. Yeah. Did you know? I didn't know, actually. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he did. I don't think he knew. I don't know where I get that from. If you, if you guys know where I get that from, please leave a comment down below. <laughs> because I can almost guarantee it that I don't. And finally, we have the last question from Billy Ray Husband, here, who asked, What is the first thing and last thing that you want to do when COVID finally... <laughs> off. <laughs> first thing I'll do is I'll go back to work. That's number one. Guaranteed when it is safe to go back to work. I will get a, an offer to go back to work. That is the first thing that will happen when all of this is over, per se. Which some people say that it is over right now, and I'm gonna show you that it is not. So please do follow the health advice from your local authorities, the CDC, Queensland Health, the UK, health society <laughs> sure and please please do follow those health guidelines and please do keep physical distances wear masks when required please 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 we are begging you for those people whose jobs have been affected by this pandemic in saying that the last thing that i want to do when all of this is said and done I think the last thing that I'd want to do is go to an indoor concert. I I don't know that the or like a stadium event. I think because it's a whole bunch of random people all matched together in the same place at the same time. Yeah, you might be thinking to yourself, but you want to go back to Disney World. That sounds like a nightmare. No, because Disney has put in protocols and is considering people's safety first, whereas other venues are not taking that into consideration. And I feel like 
you can you can avoid those certain things uh, before going into them, if that makes sense. No, no, the last thing I'd want to do when, when all this is said and done is recreate Kanye West's famous music video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please do look that up. Or don't, depending on what you're not into. I guess. Hey, if you're into that and what happens in the Kanye famous music video, then more power to you, I guess. I couldn't do that, but that's just me. That about wraps it up for the Dale Q&A, my first ever Q&A here on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much everyone for submitting your questions. I do greatly appreciate it, uh, apart from the scandal. <laughs> no, and I don't shy away from anything. I am down for answering the hard hitting questions. Got it? Hard hitting. That's so funny. But what did we learn today? We learned a lot of things actually. We learned a little bit too much about me. <laughs> but which is okay, which is the whole point of these Q&As. So if you want me to do one in the future, please do leave a comment down below or just leave a like, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more content like this, please do hit that red subscribe button and ring the bell. That was a good noise. Ring the bell. If you want to support this and everything that I do, you can do so over on my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dale Campbell. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Dale Campbell. D-A-L-E-C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. -L. You can get early release videos, you can get extra videos, and you can even get your name shouted out here. Yes. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to follow my many Instagram adventures, you can over on my Instagram at the Dale Campbell. That's T H E D A L E C A M P B E double -L, L. We now have a Discord that you can join as well over at bit.ly slash Dale Discord. And if you want to support me in another way as well and look cool doing it, we have some generic live show merch available as well. You can go to bit.ly slash GLS merch. G L S M E R C H. Thank you again, everyone, for watching. And I don't know what's. What, what are we doing next? I think I'm eating some food or I'm hanging out by the beach somewhere. I don't know. That's for us to find out together next week. But until then, I've been Dale Campbell coming at you with a Q&A. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hashtag, please don't cancel Dale.com. <laughs>